Hey everybody, it's Sean from Open Visual Effects and I got a quick update for you about Face Builder. Uh, they finally, uh, it's out of beta, they've released it so you can purchase it and I'll actually, uh, there's a link to a coupon code they have up. I don't know how long it lasts, but I know in the next few days at least, uh, it was just released uh, on the 26th, February 26th. Um, so you might be able to get it for 50% off if you move quickly. Um, and I know I usually uh, I usually only show free things on the site here, but um, <clears throat> uh, this is a great tool, and I've used it at work for years, and I'm just really excited about them bringing it to Blender, which is why I made the first tutorial, and now I'm making the second tutorial just to show you a couple of the cool new features they've added before actually releasing it. Um, and to remind you of a couple things about uh, using it. So here's what we're going to... The, the big new feature for, for Face Builder is... Uh, facial expressions. Uh, if you remember correctly, in the previous one, uh, we could we like here. You can see we can close mouth, open mouth, semi open, 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 close. So now we can do that. Now you can use these. Ideally, what you want is one with a neutral expression um, because that'll always be better. But in visual effects, filmmaking, uh, you're not always going to have that option. Uh, you're going to basically just get footage from the set. And may, in, even if you were brought in months after f filming finished, you can't even request uh, photos of the actor. So you've got to work with what you've got. And if you've got a few shots of them, hopefully you can uh, piece it together. So I've got it installed here. Uh, you can see I'm going to delete everything, actually. Let me delete everything. X, delete, create new head. It'll pop a new head in there and give us the panel, uh, which you can see right here. Uh, just a few reminders. Uh, the focal length estimation, if you know all your camera information and everything, you don't need this. So I'm going to turn it off because I know exactly what this was shot on. It was shot on a Canon 5D Mark III, which has a sensor width of 36, and I used a 50 millimeter prime on it. So I'm going to leave those right where they are. Uh, if you don't have that, you can, uh, if you don't know that information, you can leave that on. Uh, also, it's good to notice that uh, you don't want to use the new facial expression features with focal length estimation. Um, I, it may work if you do both. I haven't fully tested that, um, but I was advised by the by uh, Andrew over at Keen Tools that uh, you kind of want to pick one or the other and kind of not use them together. Uh, so yeah, the focal length is very important. Don't use them together. The end result's always going to be a neutral expression, even though we're going to be modeling. Uh, we're going to be adjusting the model off of these open-mouthed images. Uh, the finished model will always be a neutral expression. Um, and it's a good idea. Let's add, let's go ahead and add the images. I'm going to click Add Images, and we're going to go right to the, those images. i got seven of them again. I'm going to open them up. Open Images. Here we go. And here's the button right here, Allow Facial Expressions. Um, you can turn it on. Uh, at any point during your setup, but it's not advised to work that way. Uh, what you should do is, if you know you have images that have uh, open, any kind of facial expressions, not even just open mouth, but eyebrows, nose, whatever, uh, you want to turn that on right from the get-go. It's a, the best practice. So I'm going to turn it on. And uh, also, uh, just as a little side note, also in these images, once you load them, there's now rotation options uh, which is pretty nice in case you haven't pre-processed your images in any way, like brought them into an image uh, editor and kind of made sure they were rotated right, resaved them, whatever. Um, so that's kind of nice. So, uh, yeah, with this enabled, let's go ahead and do the first one, right? Let's take it. The first one's closed mouth. Let's not do that one. Let's do an open mouth. Here we go. Um, uh, so I'm just going to dive right in. I mean, we went over all this stuff in the other tutorials. So I just really want to cut to the chase and then uh, we'll see how it turns out. Uh, one of the big things is uh, to really pay attention to how you how you originally set this up. Again, the first three pins you place are basically the size, scale, and rotation of the head. Uh, and then after that, all the pins you add are going to be kind of deforming the mesh a bit. So with with the open mouth the jaw can move eyebrows can move nose can move ears can move everything can kind of move so just be a little bit more aware of that and kind of go for the overall shape a bit more when you're using facial expressions so i'm going to drag the nose right to where i usually like it and then i'm going to drag 
Uh, let's do let's do this one. I can see this one perfectly right there. And then I'm going to grab the ear and pull it out here. And so far we are not looking great. Pull that in here. And now we're looking better already. All right. There we go. And bring that in a little bit more and make sure that nose is right where we want it, which looks pretty good right there. And let's tweak this ear. So I'm only going to do a couple of these images just to kind of um, make sure you kind of get the hang of how this new these new features work. And then we'll I'll speed up the video a little bit and we'll zip through the rest of it. And then we'll take a look at the end result. So you can see the, the mouth is kind of open. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drag the chin up a bit. Just kind of close that mouth and see where how things lie. And then I'm going to... Um, maybe I want to move this up a bit. I don't know. No, it's kind of good. You kind of want to average out that nose shape at first, right? So I'm going to go ahead and bring this upper lip up a bit and the lower lip down a bit. And I kind of I should pull this over a bit probably. And then the corner of the mouth I'm going to bring in. So you can see you can move these the lips kind of independently of each other, uh, which is pretty interesting, right? It's pretty... Uh, pretty interesting. Uh, it's a pretty neat feature, actually. Uh, let's see what else. Let's drag these down a tiny bit, and this one down a tiny bit. And what else can we do here? Um, we gotta straighten out this chin a little bit. Um, we can also bring in. We gotta fix the nose quite a bit. Uh, there we go. That's looking. That's kind of getting in the ballpark of what we want. Looking good. Looking good. I'm gonna. Pin this down a bit, and then I can drag this over a touch. And also, this is all his nose right here. So I'm going to pull that up quite a bit. Yeah, right there. And then let's pull the face in a touch. And I can't find that ear. Where's that ear at? Yeah, I don't even know. We'll have to come back to the ear maybe, huh? Or maybe I can pull this out here. There we go. There's the ear that we were looking for. We can pin this side, maybe. Oh, I lost it. All right, let's get that ear lined up first, um, since that's going to be kind of important. Pin the ear right there and pin the top here. Well, now once that's done, I'm going to delete that one and delete that one just to see what happens. And I'm going to bring it back, actually, because it kind of messed it up. All right, I'm going to delete that guy and bring this touch bring this in a bit bring this out a bit and I'm not happy with that chin still let's pull this in a, a bit and I think that's good for now for the first one. Oh, forehead let's do this forehead a tiny bit let's grab over here and just bring it in a little bit just a little that's pretty good all right so that's a pretty good start and let's go ahead and jump to another one and I'll just show you one more with the open mouth, and then I will go ahead and uh, do the rest of this on my own. So let's go ahead and drag that nose again. Again, be be very careful. Uh, you know, really pay attention to your images. Uh, you know, if if the nose is moving, if they're if they're doing such a drastic expression that the nose is kind of all over the place, uh, don't start at the nose. Um, I'm finding that. The actor I used here in these images uh, didn't really go uh, too crazy with uh, his facial expression. So I'm just kind of leaving it, uh, I'm kind of leaving my, uh, the way that I work, I'm kind of leaving it the same. I'm kind of not uh, changing it up too low. There's some funkiness. What's going on there? Bring the chin down a bit. That's pretty bizarre, huh? Ooh, that got wonky really quick. Drag this in a bit here, maybe. Ooh, yeah, there's some funky things going on down there, huh? Pull this chin up a bit, maybe. Yeah, and then this chin down a bit. There we go. That's looking better. It's looking pretty good there. Uh, we can tweak this guy up here a bit. Bring this. Make sure it's lined up on the nose there. These eyes are a little messed up now. now. Let's bring this one. What if I get rid of that one and grab this? Drag it right to where I think 
center of his eye would be, right? Somewhere around there, maybe, and drag this in here. Hey, pretty good. And um, nose, let's pull that up and out a bit. Getting there, getting there. You can see it's, uh, once you start really getting it in the ballpark, look at that, it's even kind of guessing the right shape of the mouth, which is uh, pretty interesting. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty neat how this works i wish i i wish i knew uh, i could chat with them and kind of uh you know bug them a little bit about how's it working what's going on under the hood and um i have a feeling they wouldn't be super forthcoming with that information as it's probably uh some proprietary uh tech they've got going on and then let's just bring in this forehead a tiny bit and we should be close right it's looking pretty good, I think. Uh, and of course, it'll get better as I dial it in. Um, and you can watch all that if you want, but I'm just going to skip through and maybe do some of the highlights. But basically, you get how the mouth works. And then on the ones with the closed mouth, I would just do it uh, same way. I just line the lips up, pay attention to the corners of the mouth. And uh, yeah, like this is a little bit bit weird let's bring that in a touch there bring this one in a touch more here that looks good yeah that's nice um so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and speed up the rest of this and uh, we'll check it out at the end when we texture the model and uh, take a look at it Okay, hey everybody, I'm back, and you can see I've gone through all the images. I went through once again and kind of cleaned them all up to make sure that things stayed where they were. And uh, you can see some of those images have open mouth, some of them have really open mouth, some of them have closed mouth, and this is exactly what the tool is now built to do. So let's go ahead and texture our image down here at the texture panel. Just hit create texture, it'll let you choose which images you want to use. Pick them all, I usually do. Hit OK. And, uh, Sit back and wait for just a second. And there we go. It's all done. And let's take a look in 3D space. And it looks spectacular. It looks uh, exactly like uh, what, what uh, the actor looked like. So it's absolutely spectacular. You can see he's got the neutral expression, even though we used most of the images we used had an open mouth. And uh, this is exactly what the tool is exceptionally good at, um, especially if you work in visual effects and all you get is footage from the set and uh, nobody was there on set to take pictures of your actor. So check it out. Support them. They have, a, um, they have more tools. And if we show them a lot of support and hope, hopefully they'll keep porting their tools. And uh, again, this is super useful. Uh, Digi doubles, anything like that. So uh, check it out. And thanks for watching. Bye.